Number nine, dark matter. Look at your hand. Now look at the room around you. Everything you can see, touch, and interact with makes up less than 5% of the entire universe. The other 95% is a complete mystery. Scientists call it dark matter. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but we know it's there and we know it's the thing holding our galaxy together. When astronomers look at the Milky Way, they see stars spinning so fast, they should, by all laws of physics, fly off into the void. The only reason they don't is because a invisible force is holding them in. That force is dark matter. It's the invisible glue of the cosmos, a silent, mysterious force whose gravity is the only reason we exist at all. We just have no idea what it is nor how it works. And understanding dark matter might be the key to understanding how the universe works. Number eight, dark energy. If dark matter is the invisible glue holding things together, dark energy is the mysterious force tearing everything apart. Scientists once assumed the universe was expanding but slowing down. They were wrong. In 1998, they discovered the expansion is actually accelerating. It's like throwing a ball in the air and instead of it falling down, it speeds up faster and faster some unknown force is pushing the universe apart. Astrophysicist Michael Turner called it dark energy. And this discovery lead to a terrifying theory called the big rip. As the universe expands faster, it will eventually tear apart galaxies, stars, and planets. And eventually it will become a force so strong, it will rip the atoms of your body apart from each other. Number seven, intergalactic scream. Imagine a flash of energy so powerful it releases more energy in one thousandth of a second than our sun does in an entire year. Now imagine these flashes are happening all the time, all over the universe. These are fast radio bursts, and it was first discovered by Duncan Lorimer in 2007 since then, we have detected many of them from billions of light years away. They are so common that one probably goes off every single second somewhere in the sky. And we have no idea what causes them. They are so powerful, they defy our understanding of astrophysics. Some are one-off events, but some repeat every 16.35 days. They are like a cosmic lighthouse flashing at us deep in space, and the universe is filled with these unexplained explosions, and we have no idea what's trying to get our attention. Number six, the cosmic ghost. There are over 200 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and there are over two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The math is simple. The sky should be swarming with signals, filled with starships and life. The physicist Enrico Fermi asked a very simple question, where is everybody? This is the Fermi paradox, and it is one of the most terrifying questions science has. Because according to the law of probability, there is a high likelihood of extraterrestrial life. People came up with a wild theory called the Great Filter, where some predator or force destroys every advanced civilization before they can reach the stars, the silence of the universe might be the most terrifying warning of all. Number five, the wandering signal. In 1977, astronomer Jerry Eman was scanning radio signals from the Big Ear Observatory at Ohio State University when suddenly, a mysterious strong signal came in from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius that was so clear and so unnatural that it couldn't be explained. It was a 72 second long sequence, a perfect narrow band frequency that looked exactly like what an extraterrestrial broadcast should be. Eamon was so stunned, he circled the data on the printout and wrote one word, wow, and then it vanished. We have pointed our telescopes at that same patch of sky for decades, but we have never heard it again. Was it a passing comet 
or was it the universe's most haunting prank call? Number four, the placebo effect. Imagine having a pounding headache. You go to the hospital and a doctor gives you a new miracle pill. He says that it is in the process of being approved and has a 100% success rate. You take it and within an hour the headache is gone, then you find out later that the pill was just sugar. This is the placebo effect. It's not just all in your head. Your belief that you are being healed can cause real, measurable, physical changes in your body. Scans show the brain releasing its own natural painkillers, people's blood pressure drops, warts disappear. Some studies even show placebo surgeries where they just make an incision and sew it back up can be just as effective as the real thing. The terrifying thing is we have no idea how to control it, but we know it works. All we know is that our mind works mysteriously and is the most powerful pharmacy in the world. Number three. Einstein's spooky connection. Imagine you have two coins. You give one to a friend who then travels to the opposite side of the world. The instant you look at your coin and see its heads, you know, instantly that your friend's coin is tails. This mysterious phenomena is called quantum entanglement, where two particles become linked. Their states remain a mystery until one is measured. The moment it's measured, the other one instantly snaps into the opposite state, no matter how much distance is between them. This happens faster than the speed of light, violating a rule Einstein himself believed. He hated it, calling it spooky action at a distance. Even with today's advancement in technology, we have yet scratched the surface on truly understanding this mystery. It means our entire understanding of reality might be wrong, and it suggests the universe is connected in a way we can't see. Number two, the great silence. You will spend about one third of your entire existence sleeping. You lie down, you go limp, and your body turns off its conscious guard. This leaves you completely vulnerable to the world and even though you are asleep, your brain remains highly active. Scientists have studied this for centuries and know it does incredible things. It boosts your immune system, it repairs your muscles, it enhances focus and cognitive ability. Sleep affects every type of tissue and system in the body, yet we still do not know the fundamental biological purpose. Why did evolution invent a system that forces every complex creature to go defenseless for hours at a time in a world full of predators? It is the single most beneficial and time-consuming mandatory activity we do. We cannot live without it. If you are deprived of it, you start hallucinating and eventually you die. We know we need it, but we don't know why. It is the great paradox of existence. We survive by committing to a temporary state of absolute vulnerability, and science still cannot fully explain the necessity of that massive biological gamble. Number one, life's impossible spark. About 3.5 billion years ago, Earth looked very different. It was extremely hot, it was volcanically active, and it was completely exposed to UV radiation, life should not have been possible. Yet here you are, you are made of things that are not alive, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So how did a pile of dead chemicals on a lonely rock suddenly create life? Scientists call this theory a biogenesis, and it is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in all of science. The ingredients themselves are a paradox. Carbon and nitrogen, which are essential elements for living organisms, should be rare on planet formed so close to the sun, even our water, which covers 70% of the surface, likely came from distant carbonaceous meteorites that crashed and fell onto the planets. Given these unlikely scenarios, how did they all combine? In 1952, scientists tested this in the now famous Miller-Urey experiment. They simulated early Earth 
zapped a mixture of gases with electricity and created amino acids, the basic building blocks of proteins that are present in all living organisms. The truth might be even stranger. Meteorites like Murchison and samples from the asteroid Ryugu have been found carrying over 20 different types of amino acids already formed in space. As one scientist put it, it is easier to build a house out of Legos when they are falling from the sky. We can make the parts, but we still can't build the machine. Life needs proteins for everything. Studies have shown that ribonucleic acid, or RNA, the molecule that stores genetic information, could have spontaneously linked to amino acids using a water-friendly sulfur chemistry called thioesters. This is the RNA protein bridge that links metabolism to information carriers. It is a vital step toward creating a self-replicating organism. The process that created you is still a complete mystery. We can replicate the conditions, we can assemble the building blocks, but we have never created a living cell from scratch. We have all the instructions and the raw materials but we are missing the mysterious spark of life. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to see more.